Nick Merckx ties in. Oh, I hate him. Yes. So yes. we've talked about him, that he's a giant piece of shit. Um, what was he? I almost, he was being really like transphobic. Yes, he's yeah. a massive transphobe, very outspoken about it. Un unabashed transphobe. Yeah, from Michigan. So now he's coming really? after. Yeah. Huh. What shape? Michigan. You might want to keep that one under wraps. I just I just come with the facts. Yeah, it's, Hi, it's a big state. Baby. Lots of You're people. Yeah, K E T H. K E T H. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Nick Merckx, he's a gamer, also friends with Doctor, right? Yeah, that's what the relation well, is. Is he was one of the few defending him. Mm -hmm. uh, he, for no reason at all, starts coming after. So, formerly known as Chris Tyson, she now goes by Ava Chris Tyson. I just learned that. Uh, but he just goes after her, like, for no reason at all. And starts tweeting to her about how she's a bad parent. Um, mm -hmm. well, here's how it started. Let's see. Yo, yo. Checking in. Get a load of this guy, bro. That is the most caveman-ass looking face <laughs> I have ever seen on a person. Yeah. Like, dude, whatever yo, two bro. stones you rub together to formulate this thought, just <laughs> fucking go back to the fu Primal. Go back and work on fire, man. Primal. Holy shit. Uh, look, I open Twitter. Bunch of... My mentions are he, they, she, she, hey, they... The peace and love guy again. That's his tagline. Right. I, I identify as a helicopter. God damn it. <laughs> uh, Peace. One joke. Where's yeah, your see, neck, dude? It. One joke. This man has no neck. Uh. <laughs> huh? He's an he's a he's a uh, primitive evolutionary anomaly. Mm -hmm. He just crawled out of a fucking tunnel, a cave tunnel, to be transphobic. A couple tweets about the doc. Uh -oh. I'm. I'm as taken back as a lot of you guys are, okay? But the fact remains that these are some crazy accusations. Crazy. Big time accusations. And until we know more, until we know them as fact, until they've been proven with evidence, what are we talking about? What's anybody talking about? Now, as far as the leave the little kids alone stuff, this doesn't make it any further from the truth. Leave little children out of your shit. Have a nice day. What does that Yo, have to do with anything? My mentions are he. So, okay, so now Ava, me, every time I post on Twitter, he played that clip. It will play it. It's it's funnier than hey, that. She, it's she, she, hey, they. My mentions are he, they, she, <laughs> she, hey. <laughs> it's, it's a funny tweet. He, they, she. It's especially funny because he's a transphobe. Right. And it did predictably set him off. Yeah. You should be ashamed of yourself, leaving behind your wife and child to play pretend. One day you'll wake up and realize what you've done. I mean, bro, in what? Well, in the same breath, defending his literal pedophile friend. Mm -hmm. That is quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, awesome. like just zero self-awareness going on with this guy. Crazy. I mean, we're talking about evidence, but that statement from his game company is kind of GG. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They well, saw something. Think, he doesn't have any evidence about Ava. Yep. Has no problem popping off. No, well, that's his right. evidence is that she's transitioned and uh, that she's trans. That's she's the evil. evidence. That's and Nick all. Nick is ignorant. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, bro. Like, where do you come an off asshole. just being such an ignorant douchebag? What an, the worst. Yeah, what an asshole. And like so confident in it. Hey guys, I'm just gonna tell it like it is. I mean, you see in the comments, it's like, damn, I ain't know Nick was really like that. Good for him. Identify as a helicopter. Oh, crying, oh, laughing what? emoji. Yeah, it's yikes. like they have one joke and they still think it's hilarious. Every time. It's just like hear the, the a screaming, time. a social justice warrior meme. Yeah. Uh, and... She wasn't, uh, what, I don't know what we missed. She wasn't really being mean. And he responded in like the most psychotic way possible. Yeah, like, exactly. he's so, Why are you so angry, bro? Uh, so let's see what else happens. 
Nick criticizes uh, Tyson for being a bad parent. Yeah, we read that. Mr. Beast then comes out of the woodwork to defend his good friend Ava, best friend, I believe. Uh, and I got to respect the hell out of Jimmy for standing with his, with his buddy here the whole way. And I appreciate how he's treated it like just it's not it's not an issue. It's always been for him like I don't need to talk about it. I don't need to even acknowledge it because it's not an issue. Mm -hmm. It's just not, it's a nothing. Oh, Beast responded to drama alert. You should be ashamed of yourself leaving behind your wife and child to play pretend. The Beast comes out. Ava's literally always with her kid and doesn't even go on shoots to spend more time with him. Tuck man is always smiling. Not sure why this rumor is a thing because transphobia, but good for you, uh, uh, you know, Jimmy. Hell yeah. I'm not the biggest Mr. Beast fan. Not not that I like dislike him, but like I, I like I, I don't watch. I'm a I know you do. I, I don't watch his videos really or anything. I've been very impressed by how he's handled Ava's mm -hmm. transition. Yeah. Also, on top of the fact that like good friend there, he just good friend shit for yeah. real. Mm -hmm. Like you could definitely cynically analyze that as a liability and be like, you know, we should. And he's Mr. Brand friendly. He's Mr. Mass appeal. Mm -hmm. He didn't think about any of that shit. Yeah, just continued to include backed up his friend. His friend, yeah, mm -hmm. and Great. continues to normalize. Oh yeah, being trans for all of his young viewers, like yeah, that's I think it's so really important. great. It's very yeah. admirable how he's how he's handled and it all. He well, yeah, got a lot of backlash for it too from fucking shit bags on exactly. Twitter. Exactly, right? Uh, people, you think which it's, he's usually very controversial. Like he's Mr. Clean. That's you what, know what I mean. mean. So I like, can't. I could have seen a scenario where it went the other way, where it's just like. It's too, it's too controversial, yeah. you know? I can't believe all the likes these tweets got. I made a little album, uh, 4A, if you're interested. But these tweets uh, attacking Mr. Beast are insane. Um, <laughs> uh, Ava responds, they just want to villainize trans people when they realize and accept that I am in his life arguably more than most parents are able to be. They say I'll ruin him or far worse things. They don't actually care. They want to move the goalposts so that they can go trans people bad. That's a great, that's uh -oh. a great point. Here comes Look an enlightened take by Sneeko. Moron. Huh? I'm talking about Sneeko. Sneeko's coming in. Let's see. You're one of the uh, most influential the people in the world now, Jimmy. Stop pretending like this perversion is normal. You could literally save thousands. Sneeko, um... Think about it, Ethan. Let's, you know what, Jimmy? Let's stop and take... Uh, advice from the most cucked, fucking <laughs> hated, fucking loser. loser moron on the internet. Uh, he's the sort of guy that gets the, horny. When that he fucking takes shit. that moron may still be toothless right now. He just yeah. had his teeth in that Think thing about it, in Detroit, actually. Also, didn't do shit by the way. I noticed when he got punched yeah. in the face. In Detroit, no less. Yeah, that's play. Me, Lena used to go there. Level well, two. In that's kind of nuts. A lot happens in that. I, it's in that crazy. state. <laughs> no, I started as a meme, and it's just every it's story. a lot's happening in Michigan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot happening. Um, so that guy continues to be a giant douchebag, but unfortunately, it's not really a controversial thing to say in a lot of spaces, and I'm sure he'll be fine, and also get the support of such great high level characters as Sneeko. Who once took a dude's nuts on his face? Was it him or he teabagged somebody? <laughs> I don't remember the details. Which one was it? Either he yeah, teabagged or he teabagged somebody. No, I think, he, I think he someone licked his balls. Somebody <laughs> yeah. licked his I balls. Don't know yeah. That. yeah, someone was eating out his girl yeah. while he was, you know, doing the deed. Uh -huh. and, and they're like, weren't your balls on his face? I think his balls were slapping the other man's yeah, yeah, face. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Yeah. And of course, that's fantastic. I love that for you, but... It's a good time. Clearly, not something... <laughs> that bites. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, but, okay, so, uh, there it is. I'm Wait, wearing that, Everybody's uh, saying you gotta look at the reply to yeah. Sneeko's tweet. I'm mm. not sure what it is. Ooh. And a lot of that. I love that. Apparently, Ava replied. Let's see. And Opera. <laughs> Absolutely slammed him. Sne uh, he, uh, so uh, Ava responds, Sneeko doesn't see Jimmy putting wells in Africa, helping the blind see and the deaf hear as saving lives. Only when Jimmy says trans bad will he actually have made a difference in the world. That's a really good point. 
Uh, that that is a good response, but that wasn't the one people were asking to see. It was this one. So Sneeko responds, or, if you want okay. to pretend to be a woman, do it off camera. Still not the one I'm talking about, but... Don't be foolish. Do not damage Jimmy's philanthropic <laughs> reputation. Do not confuse a generation of children by celebrating puberty blockers and genital mutilation. Uh, Chris responds, or Ava Chris responds, Mad Jimmy kept... Oh, he that's says... slur, don't say it. Yeah. And not your loser ass. Oh, that's true. Sneeko used to yeah. work with Jimmy. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's a pretty good. good slam. Okay. Ava's out for the kill. I became my own man. You leashed off one and still failed. Bitch, are you for real? How has she failed? She's on the biggest YouTube channel in the world. Undoubtedly a million. Like, what? And yeah. you're banned from like everything, yeah. Sneeko. Like, what the fuck are you talking also, about? Also, talk about leashing. I mean, how long have you been sucking Andrew Tate's cock for a <laughs> For a sliver of relevancy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, give me a break, dude. And she has all her teeth, too. So, Just that. True. Crazy. True, true. Uh, so, keep scrolling, because there's still another tweet that I've been trying to get you to look at. Let me finish this. I'm almost okay. done. <laughs> uh, I know you know I have skin in that company, so you're lying to make yourself feel better. I helped found it. Being your own man isn't sucking off grifters. Have a great time in 10 years when you're only remembered for being a racist C-word. True legend. Dude. Okay, Ava's out him. for the kill shot. Absolute <laughs> murder. And Love the sad it. thing is, listen, she's right. She's set for life. Yeah. She's, yeah. she's got a cut. I didn't even know that. She's cut in on the- She's got oh, equity cool. in the channel? That's I mean, cool. that's fucking massive. <laughs> That's crazy. It's true, though. They made the channel together. I mean, yeah. she's been there since the very beginning. They've always been really close friends. All right. So where do I see... Uh, just keep scrolling. Okay, this this right here. Uh, Opera GX. It's so odd. You involves yourself in this. Usually you only watch the action from the sideline. <laughs> that's... Oh, that's... The Sneeko. Yeah. Is that's... there more? Or just that? It was just that. Yeah, it's, it's very just good. Just people said, look at the... Look at that reply. It's very good. And it was a good reply, so thank you, everyone. Shout out Opera GX. <laughs> Shout out Bring to up. a browser. Anything else? Uh, no, Opera. that's mostly oh, it. Ava's ex responded. Interesting. So let's see. She has a great relationship with her kids, and apparently with her ex-wife as well. Um, so... I guess the I guess that ends that right. That ends that conversation. Yeah, Gigi. It's like he just made it all up with no evidence. Wait, isn't this an old? Okay, wait. I'm confused. Oh no, this. So why is he talking about the Viking guy? OG Beast Crew, Jake the Viking agrees with Nick. Oh no wonder he got fired. He's a giant fucking <laughs> douchebag. Let him know. Somebody's mad he got booted. And he's just back paddling now too. He's back? Not after this. No, I'm saying he's back paddling. Back pedaling. Oh, he's back. He's uh -oh. back and shit. How do you backpedal that? You just straight up were like, <laughs> I don't let know. him know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, Ava's ex-wife <laughs> says this. Mine and Tucker's life are both better than ever. Tucker's the son. Tucker's life had kept relatively private as much as it can be solely because of people like you who try to make a headline topic of a four-year-old life blasted as a headline. There are plenty of other things in this world to talk about other than a four-year-old who will one day See all of this. Imagine having to get introduced to the internet and having all of your life as a headline topic. All of his life bashed all over the internet. His life is kept private as much as possible, and not so people like you can create a headline of a life and situation you know nothing about. So next time, please choose a different headline other than an innocent four-year-old's life. Our lives are the best they've ever been, and Tucker is loved and cared for by both parents and in both homes and is thriving. I don't know who Nick is. I don't care who he is, but as a parent himself, oh, he's a parent. Uh, is this the example we want for our children? When we don't agree with someone, we bash them, their families drag their children through the trenches by spreading false information about their lives. Be better, set a better example. She went in very politely, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. There it is. Shout out to the beast. Say what you will, but the man's a good friend. This was sent to me with the message, every time I walk past the cave carving, it's always like, he, they, she, she, hey, they. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy right there. It's been haunting him since the beginning.